Welcome to Calgary, everyone. The friendly confines of McMahon Stadium have the Stamps 3-0 on home turf with so many connections between these two clubs. Blacks, we'll see what he does here today. As he begins looking over the middle. Reggie Pendleton, why not? Had a monster game against these Argonauts last August in Toronto. After a little stint on the practice roster in Ottawa, as Mayor looks over the middle. Once again, Reggie Pendleton running in space through the brakes on and pushed down at the 10 yard line. Ball came out at the end, but it looks like he was down. Upon further review, the ruling on the field is overturned. It's first down for Toronto at the 11 yard line. Anyone in the CFL, great conversation with Kadeem as Cam Duke steps up in the pocket and he'll go down. A team that struggles to get quarterback sacks just eight so far throughout the season. And on second and long. There with five receivers at his disposal. Looks left, comes back right, pressure, and he flips it to an offensive oh lineman. And that's not going to work. Is that Deontay Demery that makes the grab as yards per rush attempt by their opposition? Dukes looks to throw here on first and ten. He's got all day. Now he steps up in the pocket and he'll be brought down. We'll see whether he got past the line of scrimmage. Alumni makes the play there on Dukes. It makes it second and 11 over the top. Coverage is there, but can coax he get it? Dropped it right in over the shoulder. DeMonte hauls it in. Amazing. Out of Laval, fifth overall pick. He swoops through the backfield, look that direction. Now Dukes pumps, steps up, gonna try to use his legs, reaches for the end zone, touchdown Argonauts. This is what you've seen from Cameron Dukes. He's got the ability to just stay on the field, whether it's using his legs to get eight, eight to nine yards. A run Jalen Philpott cross face. And give Philpott the carry. He turns north south, crosses the 55, and is wrapped up just down inside the 50. It's number three all time in the Canadian Football League. This one from 51 yards away. It's got plenty of leg, a drifting wind behind him, and Paredes cashes in. And inside nine minutes remaining in the first half, 8-3 advantage for Toronto. As Dukes with pressure on, and somehow stays on his feet long enough for whistles to come. He just dominated at the combine. We were there in Winnipeg earlier this spring. As now over the top, intercepted! Royce Metchier intercepts the pass intended for Reggie Bagleton down the left sideline and Metchier steps out of bounds. I'm not sure if there was a receiver to hold him, but it's just sometimes when that ball drifts too far across the field to the backside safety, you got to go some. Cam Dukes looks to his right, back over the middle, slings this one into the end zone, touchdown Argonauts, and it's a former Calgary Stampeder, Richie Sindani from the University of Calgary, drafted by the Stampeders in the end zone of McMahon. That's sooner or later. Already crossed midfield, they'll still go for the first down yard, just Stevens turns what should be a one yard gain into a five yard gain. Paredes knocks it through in his seventh year out of UNC Charlotte trying to make the play and now it will be Cam Dukes cutting back against the grain somehow escaped and finally Dozier's the one that brings him. Dukes in the gun quarterback draw picks his way through the line and then takes a big shot sliding down just outside the 35 yard line and Mike McIntyre stares down Cam Dukes. Dukes after that quarterback called run now will take off on his own already has one rushing touchdown run the, uh, you're going to just run tight zone get it right up inside for the touchdown big moment here for the Argonauts as Kadeem Carey scores a touchdown in his return to Calgary that drive is Cameron Dukes his ability to use his legs a couple of in the offseason get some real live bait to make fishing easier. Well, that was an easy catch by Reggie into the hands of Begleton as he breaks two tackles, now a third, and he's out to the 25-yard line. So solid for the Stampeders. The running game picking up steam now as well. Begleton promised us it'd be a better second half than it was a first, and on multicultural appreciation from the Stampeders on Heritage Night. As Cam Dukes with pressure on. <laughs> Sure, if they're going to give it to Julian Hauser or Cam Judge, but regardless, a big loss on first down for the Argos. And Dukes just kind of shrugging, saying, Where was my protection? Big shows a blitz off the edge. He'll come. Creates a void underneath. John Jones makes the tackle, but not until a Calgary first down. If it's close to your home, press some people, get in with the Jets. Taking a shot now down the seam to Peyton Logan, incomplete, but Fraser Sopic 
We'll get called for defensive pass interference. As Left hand side. There's five receivers available for Mayer. Flags come up. Mayer looks into the end zone. Mark and Michelle. Did he haul it in? He did. Touchdown Calgary. Tightening down the advantage for Toronto. We'll see what the flags are. Offside, Toronto number 40. Counties decline. Result of the play, the touchdown. On the play contain. That's what you do to mobile quarterbacks. Dukes, pressure on, tries to spin out of it. Hicks gets him. And the momentum rolls on. No Argonauts. They'll flip it underneath. They get it to the return specialist. To the outside he goes. Ishmael Hyman. And up to the 55 before he's punched out of bounds into the Stampeders bench. Not late enough in the game. They just have to throw it. So using everything they can. Now Mayer fading away to his left. Throws it up. Tavares McFadden was in coverage. But Kane Mickles right. is into the end zone. He wasn't touched. Found him an opportunity. McFadden just can't high point it. And the awareness to jump into the end zone when he's not touched. What an amazing catch. This is catch of the year. So now they'll take a look and make sure to see whether he's touched or not. Blaskowski. <laughs> Cam Dukes struggling in the second half. Looking to try to change that. He'll use the legs just like he did in the first. And he picks up the first down. Four-man rush. Looks to his left. Gets it incomplete. Morgan Michelle breaks a tackle. Running away from Jones, who brings him down at the 36-yard line. And a Paradis steps in from 44 yards away to try and take the lead. For the first time, the Calgary Stampeders have the advantage on the scoreboard with by the offense, the great play by Howell. Dukes stands in all day, gets a three-man rush. Now finally settles for the check down. And on second and medium. What if he just check it to the back? Dukes, pressure on, right into his face. Mike Rose pushed the pocket all the way back. Get an extra. Snap comes up quickly here for Dukes, who looks over the middle, passes knocked down. Third and six, and a turnover on downs. There are no flags. But Julian Hauser couldn't get there with the rookie, where he's made 14 of his last 17 attempts. Steps through, turns around, knew he nailed it from the second it left his foot. Third and ten. Loads it up. Looks down the middle of the field. Caught. Richie Sindani in between coverage. Regardless, it gave the Argonauts about 15 seconds to talk it over. Now Dukes looks in behind coverage once again. Big hit. Up in the air. Intercepted. Ball game. Demario Houston. Seals it for the Stamps. Micah Alway was told by his defensive coordinator, Brent Munson, is one of the most fo physical football players on our team. And good things happen. The end of three quarters of play. The Stamps come all the way back. 27-23 with 21 unanswered.